This is gonna be a problem. This, this is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. Yep, that's gonna be a problem. Well, when it rains, it pours, and oh boy, has it been a interesting week in the Airbnb world. It's fine. <laughs> Just had to fire one cleaner and had another cleaner quit, and then unquit, and then quit again within the same like two or three days. Ah, uh, yeah, anyway, so here's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be heading out to Austin to stay at the Pink Pickle, specifically because the eclipse is tomorrow, and I probably could have listed those nights on Airbnb and actually made <laughs> A lot of money, but some of my best friends flew in for this event. My wife, my kids want to go, so we're taking a little day trip out to Austin to blind ourselves. And by the way, I think we all know how this is going to go. I'm going to show up to my Airbnb and uh, I'll be mortified, I'm sure, at all the things that have already been missorted and lost and mixed around in the less than one month that this Airbnb has been live. <laughs> Sir, are you ready to go to Austin? Are you ready to go to Austin? You ready to go to Austin? Yes. I can't wait. Tell people to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so, where did everything go wrong? Well, here's the interesting thing. Cleaner One has been my main cleaner in the Smoky Mountains really since I've been out there. We're talking like two years, and she's honestly been perfectly reliable, but the problem is you kind of get reliability with a cleaner or quality. You don't always get necessarily both. And while she's been incredibly reliable, she's missed two cleans out of, I don't know, hundreds at this point. That part kind of sucked. Aside from that, she's always showed up on time, she's always made sure the properties were clean, but we have gotten a ton of complaints over the year. And the straw that broke the camel's back was about a month ago, we had a guest reach out about bugs in our kitchen, and they sent a photo of a canister of dry spaghetti, like uncooked, full of like moths and other little bugs in there. And we were obviously mortified by this, sent it to the cleaner and said, hey dude, like what's going on? You're supposed to throw away all food. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I got my team on it, we're good. Well then, last week, about a month later, I get another message from my guests, a different set of guests that are mortified at the bugs in the kitchen, AKA the freaking spaghetti canister full of the same moths, meaning that my cleaner never actually took care of it and she like lied to us. I'm not even gonna say she lied. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt and just hope that her cleaners lied to her and that's what she relayed to us. Needless to say, those guests weren't happy and they were right to not be. And at that point, I think we realized it was time to pull the plug, which is a bummer because we've had such an amicable relationship with our cleaners. But at the end of the day, this is a hospitality business. Cleanliness is a large part of hospitality. You just need to be able to trust your cleaners because they're the eyes and ears of your operation. So sadly, we're on the search for a new cleaner in the Smoky Mountains. I'm going to finish packing up and loading up the cars and then we're going to head to Austin. Well, actually, I forgot that every time we go out of town, we gotta do the basic things like throw away trash and get things tidy so that we don't come home to like a really messy house because it's, you know, when you're traveling with kids, it's a horrible thing to just walk into a house full of crumbs and everything. So we're cleaning up so we can just relax when we get home tomorrow. Now I'm gonna take out the trash and I'm gonna make a match cut sequence out of it that's gonna easily quintuple the amount of time that it should actually take me to take out the trash. This is a one day trip, by the way. When you got kids, this is what a one day trip looks like. Okay, car is packed. We got a ton of stuff here. We got a baby toilet. We got my camera bag. We got my wife's beauty bag. We got my drone. We got a pack and play. And then we got my wife's other bag full of stuff that I have no idea what's in there. And now for the true difficulty of actually getting on the road and it's getting my kids out the door. Okay, is everybody ready? Let's go. Come on. Bye, 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 bye. Vamanos. We gotta go. Say that again? It's not the time, babe. Okay, out, scooch. All right, that's it. Once I lock this door, we're not coming back in. Go, 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 go. go. Got in the car, drove 10 minutes, and then realized that I left my camera in the garage. We almost didn't have a video. We're ready. Welcome. Tell me how bad it is in there. Oh, I think the cleaner just left. Working nine to five. Isla, are you ready to see the pink house? Uh-huh. Just got to the pink pickle. Everything is looking good. The previous cleaner's team is there cleaning everything up. It's gonna be like ships passing in the night because I have a new cleaner that I'm gonna be interviewing because this current cleaning crew, they will no longer be with us. I mean, it might be a little awkward. I might be interviewing the new cleaner in front of the old one, but that's what happens. I had to find someone super quickly because I got a guest checking in in a few days and this place has to be cleaned. 
So Kim, my new cleaner, just came by and oh my gosh, she's great. She's so great, I'm so excited. I was a little nervous. You know, I'm always a little nervous in this situation because when you lose one cleaner, you kinda gotta scramble to find a new one super fast. That was me there for a second. Blue and Bridget, my partners over at Funkit Interiors, our design house, they recommended her. They said, hey, she's gonna be cleaning for us in some of our properties, she's great. Turns out she cleans over 300 properties in Austin and really dialed in with her system. She's got so many systems and processes is I've honestly never felt more relieved after talking to a cleaner so yeah it almost feels a little too good to be true but I have faith here's the story on the other cleaner she was referred to me from a trusted source um, and honestly I interviewed her it was great you know we had some kind of interesting conversations back and forth there was one point where she kind of quit on me and then a day later what, what, what exactly happened I don't even remember it's been just such a long road with this cleaner but basically she quit and then like a couple days later she's like i've thought about it. i've decided to not quit and then yesterday or two days ago she sent me like 80 texts about how i don't value her or her time and she's worth it and I i'm clearly not worth it to her and all this stuff and i'm like i don't know she deduced a lot from like three text messages that i sent where i was like you know i'm flexible let's work something out i honestly don't know where the discrepancy in communication came from but this is also the problem that you face when you primarily text with some of your vendors and in this case it was my cleaner and i just i don't know i i could really get into the, i mean she sent me like 80 text messages the other night where i was just like what's happening and i could really get into it but i'm not going to because i have a new cleaner that's great so it's gonna be fine you know what never gets old pink dinosaurs check this out this is probably the coolest feature that i have at any airbnb reptar now we get to the part of the show where I walk around my Airbnb and I start scrutinizing everything that's wrong with it, starting with this giant puddle of water on the pickleball court. I am foreseeing this being an issue in the future and I'm a little nervous. That water is always gonna pool right here. Which is exactly why I bought this push broom for this particular scenario. Actually, no, I, I just, I got the push broom more so, so I could clean stuff off the pickleball court if I needed to with like water and soap. But now I'm really glad that I bought it because Clearly, this will be an issue. I mean, it didn't even rain today. So that's just been pulling up there. It's definitely gonna stay in my beautiful pickleball court, but let's get it cleaned up. All right, just swept that up. This is gonna be a problem. All right, now I'm at the pool here. Amazing mural. Here's the problem. Lots of trees above this pool, meaning lots of leaves in the pool. This is gonna be no bueno. No bueno. Well, looks like the squirrels got to my couch cushions and it's been less than a month. This couch, this is gonna be a problem. All right, so we have these hanging chairs right here. These chairs, conceptually, Great idea because it's super vibey, looks great in photos, but let me show you what happens when you have hanging chairs inside of a residential home. This started happening the very first day that we ever had because this keeps just hitting that right there. And then the drywall back here keeps getting destroyed. Yep, that's gonna be a problem. Overall though, looking at everything else, not too bad, not too bad. Just those little things, I think. Well, there was one thing, there's a crack in the drywall somewhere. There it is, you can kind of see it. <laughs> Do you like playing pickleball? Is it your favorite sport? Yeah. What's your favorite thing about the pink pickle? The fenced in pool? This isn't a trick question. This so is my just kids a... don't drown in it. That is nice. I thought ahead. I knew I'd be staying at this place. What's your least favorite thing about the pink pickle? My least favorite? Yeah. Having to leave. Yeah, well see, there we go. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you ready for something cool? Are oh, you see that red button? Go push it. You're so close. Staying at the Pink Pickle to test it out with all of my friends. Say hello, everybody. Yo, Hi. hello. <laughs> Tell them to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Smash that subscribe button.
First night staying at the Pink Pickle, here are my thoughts. Uh, there are a ton of little things wrong with the property, but it's not that big of a deal because most of it can be remedied. I've already got a punch list that I've been working on for this property. My daughter wants me to go play pickleball, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up quickly. Yes, one second. I'll be right there after I finish this. Do you wanna come sit with me while I do this? <laughs> okay. I've put together what's called a punch list, and a punch list is basically a list of things that you are punching off, I guess, is the etymology of that. What do you think, is that true? I guess, yeah. It's like you're punching it off, all right. You're, you're knocking things off this list, and so, so far, this house isn't really missing a lot, but the things that I have noted for it are, there's a clogged bath drain, so I gotta get that taken care of. I need to buy shampoo and conditioner because there aren't any in the bathrooms. I thought there would be, but, uh, now that I think about it, I ordered an amenity box and it was returned to sender, so it never actually came in. I need to get a strainer, because I made pasta for, for this little girl right here, and uh, straining pasta without a strainer is very frustrating. We've got salt and pepper shakers, but no salt and pepper inside, or oil, which is really frustrating, because we tried to cook yesterday and we had nothing to cook with, but that's like the main stuff. You know, luckily I've only had four guests at this property, so it hasn't really blown up in my face or anything like that, but I am pretty much guaranteed to be booked every single weekend for the rest of the existence of this Airbnb listing. So I'm gonna have to take care of it pretty quickly. All right, let's go play pickleball. Yay. Yay. These are $150 paddles that she's just like scraping against the ground. No big deal. You know, interestingly, this is actually one of the first times that I've ever gotten to actually enjoy my Airbnb with friends and my family and everything like that. I have my beach house in Crystal Beach. I got to use that with my family one time and it's really great. And the really reassuring thing is, while I'm really freaking out about all the little things here, no one really notices or cares. I bring it up and I'm like, ugh, and everyone's like, okay not that big of a deal. So remember, it is important to have a high quality listing and to take care of everything. But at the same time, you don't have to freak out about every little thing because really, the only person that's gonna notice the really, really, really tiny things is you. Plan for the rest of the day is gonna go down like this. I'm gonna try to wrap everything up. I've got some Amazon orders that came in. We're gonna stare into the sun and blind ourselves today for the eclipse and then head home and hopefully not hit a ton of traffic. And then I've got a big couple of weeks ahead of me as I design my upcoming Airbnb with Funkin' Interiors. It's a little blue house that I bought not too long ago, 100% seller finance at a 3% interest rate. I've been wanting to just turn it into an Airbnb, but since launching Funkit and creating an experience like this, I'm really motivated to make every single property in my portfolio portfolio look like this. So pretty soon, Houston will have a very design forward Airbnb, which I know may not sound like a big deal, but if you go through Houston and you look at the comps, there's absolutely nothing that looks like a Funkin' interior home at all in Houston. It's kind of crazy. There's nothing that's even close to the level of like the Pink Pickle, for example. So I'm gonna be that person. If you wanna follow along with Funkin' Interiors and all of the different properties that we're gonna be launching this year, go follow us on Instagram because we're gonna be launching pretty soon. And I can confidently say that we're gonna be helping create the most unique and amazing Airbnbs in the country. Couldn't be more excited to bring you along. Catch you on the next episode of Rob Build. See ya.